If you're a frequent Zogo user, you may have noticed a new feature that we released in the latest update of Zogo Manager called Overlays. Now what this is for is it allows you to place a graphic, usually a transparent one, on top of the content that's playing inside your Zogo playlist. The normal reason people would do this is to place their logo in one corner of the screen while all of their content is playing. So I'm going to show you how to create a uh, overlay and load it into Zogo. Now I'm jumping over to my Mac, my design machine, and I'm going to start by opening up my favorite graphic design application and creating a graphic in 1920 by 1080 size. Now this assumes that you, the TV that your content is playing on is a 1080 HD TV. So let's go ahead and we've set up the artboard. We are going to include a background color, but not include it in the export. So this is just so we can see what we're placing on the artboard here. I've pasted in a Zogo logo. You'll see the Zogo decision signage logo there. And everything that's gray is going to be transparent. So this entire uh, file will be transparent except for Zogo in the bottom corner. And you'll see that here uh, as we export. We're going to export this file to the 1080 size. And it needs to be exported as a PNG file. That's very important because if we export it as a JPEG, for instance, it doesn't support transparency. And you just have a um, basically a gray uh, graphic with Zogo in the bottom corner. Um, it would block all your other content and we don't want that. So we've exported as a PNG and if we preview the file, you can see it's transparent except for Zogo in the bottom left. So that's perfect, that's what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and copy this file and we're gonna jump back over into Windows where Zogo is running. Now I'm gonna paste my Zogo overlay file that we just created onto the Windows desktop and now I click on Overlays. You'll see we don't have any loaded yet, so in typical Zogo fashion, we click plus new, and we double check that the target resolution, this is your TV, is gonna be 1920, 1080, and that's perfect, because that's the, uh, the graphic we just made in HD. We're gonna click on choose background, and we're not gonna touch web surface today, by the way, that's an advanced developer feature, but we may touch on that in a later video. Um, we are going to upload our graphic, and here you can see uh, the black, part shows that this is transparent in Zogo except for the logo and we're just going to click on save. Now with our overlay uploaded we can use the back button to go back to the main navigation and now we're actually going to um, include this overlay on one of our players. So in order to do this we navigate down to uh, the player that where we want the overlay to appear. In my case it's called iMac VM and you'll see here we already have a playlist selected iMac demo and all we're going to do is click on choose overlay and we're going to navigate to the overlay that we just uploaded and this is the only change we're making. So we can just uh, go ahead and click on save and we will see the overlay appear on top of our other content. So now I'll just open my player and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the size here. And now when my content appears, we will see that our Zogo logo appears in the bottom left-hand corner of our content. And that's all there is to it.